Hey, what's up everyone? This is Gary with GameStorm, and I'm here to answer a, uh, another Top 3 Tuesday. And the uh, question is, the top three levels from hell, or like the hardest levels you ever played in video games. And uh, my number three is going to be from the Revenge of Shinobi. It's going to be the level, like it's... Uh, the level right before the very end boss of the game and that level is a, a maze and it's pretty difficult like when I first played that there you know there was like no internet or anything and couldn't really find any information out about it you know it was just pretty much trial and error you had to go through uh, all these different doors and stuff that would put you like in a different part of the maze and Basically, the the best way I've ever found to get through it was to just, like, you have to, like, kill all the guys in the level, you know, and that way, you know, if you've been somewhere before, if there's no enemies in that part of the, the maze, so when you find, you, you go through one of the doors or whatever and you find, like, you know, there's some more enemies here, you know that you haven't been there before, so it kind of helps you. Yeah, that, that was pretty frustrating. It took quite quite a while to get through that and um, yeah <laughs> would have really helped to have the internet back then to figure that out but you know all right my number two is going to be from uh, half-life 2 episode 2 specifically the very last mission on that um i know a lot of people have played half-life 2 i don't know if all of you played episode 2 of half-life 2 but that's pretty much the last part that Valve has given us, you know, I guess they're working on Half-Life 3 to uh, finish the story up, but uh, you pretty much, you have to defend the, uh, the missile silo towards the end of the game against uh, 12 Striders, and if you've played this, you know how difficult it is to bring a Strider down. And, you know, when they tell you that there are a dozen Striders coming, all converging on the base at one time, you're thinking, man, that's going to be impossible. But they give you these uh, these explosive devices. They're like sticky bombs. You're supposed to use your gravity gun to throw the sticky bomb up onto the Strider. And... Uh, then you have to pull out your gun and shoot that bomb but you know it, it sounds easier than what it is because you the, the area that you have to to work with is really big you have to actually get in your car and drive through this whole area to these different places that you're supposed to go to to get these uh, these sticky bombs but every time you get one there's uh, these other things that are kind of like striders they're called hunters they're like a smaller version they are pretty much uh, protecting the striders from you. So every time you grab one of these sticky bombs, those those hunters will actually aim for that bomb to try to blow it up as you're carrying it. So yeah, it really makes it difficult. I, I don't know how long it took me to, to clear that part. It took me several hours. Um, but yeah, I was pretty much breaking a sweat by the time I got through that. It was really difficult. So my number one difficult levels or missions is going to be from X-Wing, and uh, it's gonna be this mission right here. Identify and disable Imperial transports bearing prisoners. Protect our rescue transports from any Imperial counterattacks. Destroy all other transports before they reach the Imperial frigates. Now, this mission was... I, I don't know really how to say it. Like, it frustrated me to no end. Like, it's pretty early on in the game, apparently. And I pretty much quit playing it for a while because of this mission. I, I couldn't pass it. And, you know, I, probably a couple of months later, I came back with a renewed interest into playing it again. And... You know, it took quite a while. I didn't have any references to go by, but uh, you have to uh, destroy all of the uh, transports before they reach the uh, the frigates. But not all of them. There are two of them that you have to disable 
to uh, rescue uh, prisoners off of there. And uh, yeah, if you disable those too soon, then your uh, rescue transports will come in and they will just get blown away by TIE fighters. And there's just no way to do it like that. You have to, uh, pretty much how I figured out how to do it was you have to auto target. You have to f figure out which transports those are. You have, by flying close enough to them, because there's like 12 of them, I think. But there's only t the two that you have to figure out where the prisoners are. So you have to auto save those in your target. So once you figure out what those are, when you restart your mission after you know you failed it so many times, you just automatically target those two and just leave them alone. Then you have to uh, pretty much destroy all of the others, and then then you can disable them and protect them against the Tie Fighters. Because oh, and, and another thing, you're you're in a Y-Wing in this mission, and it's not the most maneuverable ship, and you're facing TIE Advance to the, the whole thing. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that was the most frustrating mission I've ever played in a video game. But All right, everyone, uh, go check out uh, Ed T1138's channel. He puts up this great Top 3 Tuesday series every week, and uh, this is a great question asked by uh, Christy O'Connell, 311. And uh, I'll put up a link for her channel also. And she has an awesome channel. I've been subscribed for a while. So, yeah, go check out those guys. And this has been Gary with GameStorm. Thanks for watching.